do? What it do, Ski? It's your boy, Farewell34, and today, I'm here with my reaction video to the season three premiere for The Office, guys. We are we are we are making our way downtown. Something something, and I'm homebound. I thought the last two episodes for season two were spectacular and some of my favorites of the entire series thus far. We had Casino Night, we had HR episode where Toby was on his bullshit. It was just a lot of fun here. And I think the, the, the season two finale really highlighted what made season two really stand out to me, differentiated itself from season one, the character progression, a little bit more complex characters and a little bit more, you know, heartfelt and, 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 and playing on the emotions better in my opinion, instead of just being sort of just, um, you know, crude humor, which is also great too in a part of the show. But I'm really liking where they're going with these characters and I'm excited to see how things are gonna go. Jim going for the Hail Mary. So with that being said, let's just get into this episode for The Office. So as always, if you enjoyed this one, then definitely be sure to smack that like button and subscribe if you haven't already. But with that being said, let's get right into this one. Is this Michael Scott, the philanderer? Nope. <gasps> okay, I see you. Yeah, I'm not nice a temp anymore. Do. I got Jim's uh, old job, <gasps> which means that my Ryan Howard is a junior sales associate at a mid-range paper supply firm. Yo, this guy Jim dipped? He actually did it! Oh, shit. That'll show him. There's been a time jump. Thank you. A flashback. This is an anime episode. Confirmed. You have no idea how long I wanted to do that. Me too. <gasps> I think we're just drunk. No, I'm not drunk. Are you drunk? No. You're really gonna marry him? Okay. Jim is gone. <laughs> <laughs> He's gone. <laughs> Jim! <laughs> False. I do not miss him. Oh my god, dude. That was the top tier opener. Holy shit. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh shit. You got a tear in the first first episode for season three. Confirm. Go. Woo. Call everybody faggy. Why would anyone find that offensive? Okay. I guess we're just like if he's lame or something like that. That's what faggy means. Oscar's really gay. Exactly. I mean, for real. Yeah, uh, I know. No, he's attracted to other men. A little too far. Cross the line. Okay, I am telling you. Oscar is an actual homosexual. Obviously, true. I guess most people don't know. You don't call retarded people retards. It's bad taste. You call your friends retards when they're acting retarded. Listen, man, I'm so sorry. I had no idea. Oh, it's fine. No, it's okay. It's no, okay. It's, it's fine. Not. I just I feel terrible about it. If I don't know how to behave, it is because I am just so far the opposite way. I've got a little quality bone too. Maybe we could go out for a beer sometime. And you can tell me how you do that to another dude. That sounds like a great, a wonderful idea. Let's do that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm loving these cuts. So much. No, I'm not gay. And I don't understand why anyone would think that I'm gay if. <sighs> uh, yeah, I'm gay. I can assure you that it's certainly not more flammable. Bruh. I think that's pretty obvious. <laughs> I got promoted, and you can't beat that view, right? Just moving on up. Hey, big tuna. Oh. You're single, right? Mm hmm Yeah, I am. Pretty hot, huh? She's completely crazy. I was watching, uh, what was the film? I think it's We're the, the, We're the Millers or Road Trip or something. And he's, uh, I forgot he's a villain in that film. He's, he's really Pretty funny. Clear, big tuna. I ate a tuna sandwich on my first day, so Andy started calling me Big Tuna. I don't think any of them actually know my real name. I went to Cornell. You ever heard of it? I graduated in four years. I never studied once. I was drunk the whole time, and I sang in the acapella group. And I have a list of business startups I got from the chamber. Going to need someone to cold call them. Oh, I can do that. Jim's nice enough. I don't, I don't know how well he's fitting in here. He's always looking at the camera like this. <laughs> what is that? Game That's meta. meta. Of course. He is. He's always well, gonna have a mind He's explosion. not dressed in women's clothes, so. Well, there could be others. You could assume everyone is and not say anything offensive. I'm sure everyone would appreciate me treating them like they were gay. What about Angela? I really don't think so. I don't know. I can imagine her with another woman. Can't you? Do some research. Jim told me you could buy gaydar online. That's ridiculous. <laughs> yeah, probably. He didn't tell the truth a lot. Let's call him, get the website. Definitely. <laughs> What's Gaydar? Oh, you know what? I can check for you. It's sold out. I missed that. You 
miss a lot, don't you, Jim? I'll be surprised if they commit to the whole season. And he's got a beard! So, yeah, have a good day. Excellent, thanks. Uh-oh, Drake album, album, nothing was the same. Yeah, I didn't go through with the wedding. I got oh. cold feet a few <gasps> days before. I can't really explain it. I just had to get out of that relationship. I'm doing well. I have my own apartment. After Pam dumped me, I, um, I kind of stopped taking care of myself for a while there. A drunk driving arrest. Now, I've been working out, and um, I'm not going to take her for granted. I got to win her back. Life comes at you fast. Toast. Damn! Okay, so the dream's alive then. Jim's going to have to come back. It is so cool that you're gay. I totally underestimated you. Yes, I am super cool. I am an accountant at a failing paper supply company in Scranton. <laughs> sure. Sometimes I watch Will and Grace, and I want to throw up. Okay. Who put my calculator in Jello? Good one. But uh, seriously, guys, who did this? <laughs> who did this? He's throwing hands. I need to know who put my calculator in Jello, or I'm gonna lose my freaking mind. Michael, are you aware that you outed Oscar today? What? What is that even? Coming out is a significant moment. It's not like gay We're throw shame a for festival. Oscar. Could Oscar and Angela be having a gay affair? No. Maybe. Is that what this is about? No. I'm not gay, Jan, and you should know that better than anybody. Michael. The company has made it my responsibility today to put an end to 100,000 years of being weirded out by gays. Dwight's looking at gay pornography on his computer. Uh, Michael knows Pam, okay? He asked me to do this just for him. He has his own reasons. <sighs> Ooh, okay. Nothing wrong with this stuff at all. It's all good. I don't particularly get into this. Oh, damn pop-ups. What are you doing? Watching some of your friends. This is stupid. That's fucked. All right, everybody in the conference room. I don't care. We're all homos. Homo sapiens. Gays aren't necessarily who you think. But I mean, anybody can be gay. Oscar, why don't you take this opportunity to officially come out to everybody here, however you want to do it. Go ahead. Stand up. Yes, I'm gay. And I didn't plan on sharing that part of my life with you today. So can I sit down now? In the 60s, I made love to many, many women, often outdoors in the mud, in the rain, and it's possible a man slipped in. Would be no way of knowing. So they could go out there and have some torrid, unabashed monkey sex as much as they could. You know? Yeah, Dwight. I think all the other office gays should identify themselves. Well, no one else in this office is gay. What about Phyllis? I'm getting married to Bob Vance. You Let's go. What? Yeah. Congratulations, Phyllis. That is great and, frankly, kind of amazing. Everybody has a chance. Thank you. But still, Phyllis. No, and you knew me in high school. Of course, we all thought you were gay in high school. Right. <laughs> I would be the most flamboyant gay you've ever seen. I would be leading the parade covered in feathers and... I don't think I can work here any longer. This has been the worst. All right, blah, 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 blah. you know what? Okay, I'm gonna put my money where my mouth is. You ready? What are you doing? I am going to embrace Oscar. You might want to watch this, Angela, because you can't catch anything. No. We are going to make a statement. You and I, Oscar is my friend. I'd rather not. And I just don't care who sees it. Come here, friend. No, Oscar's going to have to throw hands. No, no! Yeah, man. I don't want to touch you. Ever considered that? You're ignorant and insulting and small. <sighs> All right. I'm sorry, Michael. I'm sorry. That was a good idea. Come on. It's getting real. All right. Oh, you called you faggy. I know. I'm not faggy. I know you are. You're a good guy. Michael appears to be gay, too. And yet he is my friend. Gay friend. <laughs> you know, you know, I want you to watch this. Man, I want you people to remember for a long time to come. We don't need to. Yes, we do. What? Oh. 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 Thank you. Thank you. See? We're all still here. Oh, come on, Dwight! Come on, man! We are not in the playground anymore. We have to be mature. Maybe Oscar it's supposed to break all the rules. Or Oscar and some guy. When two people find each other, They're what back. should stand in their way? All you need are honesty, empathy, respect, and open-mindedness. Oh! 
Where's Gil, Oscar's roommate? I wonder if he knows. I was going to quit, but Jan offered me a three-month paid vacation mm. and the company car. All I had to do was sign something saying I won't sue. Gil and I are going to Europe. Hell yeah. Kids, sometimes it pays to be gay. We're still going? This helps. Jim. Nice. What are you doing? Shh. Bruh. It works. <laughs> oh no. It was Angel's face. And that was my reaction video to The Office Season 3. Episode one, y'all, that was the premiere here. There's quite a lot of changes in this episode here, obviously. I didn't expect them to do one a time jump, but as well, um, you know, just change up the format a little bit here, introducing some new characters, um, and have a, have quite a, few, quite a few of our characters in some new positions here. We had Jim going to the new location, solidified. I thought they might have taken some time with that, but considering time has passed, they've moved on with that plot line, so that's really interesting, and the fact that they're sort of mimicking the show over in that location, and we're getting to know those characters. I think his name was Andy, was really great there as well, uh, playing off on the whole, you know, Jello incident from the very first episode. Um, so I think that was great, and I love just a lot of the small callbacks there and Pam's relationship there, the kiss went through. And to my surprise, in the middle of the episode, her, she called it off with Roy. It's not happening. It's Dunzo. And he's, he's he, he got a DUI, he's trying to get fit. Um, but that was particularly interesting and like a, a, a pretty big shakeup for the show, uh, considering, you know, they're lining that up for like a whole season. So to just sort of throw that out, it was a pretty bold take in my opinion. We also have Stanley, who's got a second toaster, which is hilarious, as well as Oscar's been outed by Michael here. And man, I felt bad for the guy watching that episode. You know, obviously there were some funny moments throughout that, but just seeing him, obviously we knew that he, he was gay, but I, the characters didn't know here. So it was interesting to see all of their reactions here, obviously. So overall, I actually did like this episode here. Obviously Michael being a head ass for the majority of it here and, and not really realizing the air of his ways. But I thought some of the, some of the, some of the jokes about like, you know, uh, that's what she said, but is that what he said? And obviously the character himself coming to his own acceptance, all even though he's still, you know, was, was was fairly homophobic. Angela too. I didn't even take that in off the jump. Just I'm glad that I'm glad that they didn't just have Oscar just, you know, just getting punched down the entire episode. I'm glad I spoke up about it. But I did think there were some funny moments spread throughout it and, and a decent amount of cringe. They just shook they just shook up the show. And I think for going into season three, it's gonna be really fun to see how things progress for all the for, for all the members of the office here. But yeah, that was my reaction video to the season three premiere. What'd you guys think about this? episode i'd love to hear your thoughts in the comment section down below what was your highlights what was your lowlights for this episode how do you feel about the win about this one i'd love to hear your thoughts in the comment section down below anyway with that being said i will catch you guys for the next set of episodes so i'll see you all next time love you guys peace